for the performance. We also have t-shirts from the Father's March. If anyone can run me up a sample. So if you didn't get that one, you have a chance to get that one too. Those ones say for our fathers, for our sons, for our brothers. Okay, so while we're um, going to have a spoken word in a couple of minutes, we I want to introduce Nehemiah from the Juice team, and um, they are going to share just a little bit about the work that they've been doing at different marches, and I'm going to give them a couple of minutes. So, hello, I'm Nehemiah, um, but it's uh, not just me. Um, uh, Tanya and Meg as well. Uh, we are the uh, leaders of Juice. Uh, so to give you a basic rundown of what Juice does is, uh, so simply, we fill in the cracks, okay? We understand that um, a lot of us are fresh when it comes to, are uh, new to the um, social injustice uh, fight, period. So, we just want to help everybody anywhere we can, as long as you're fighting towards that movement. So that's exactly what we come to, whether it be security, uh, coming to give um, some motivational words, um, or give y'all some information. Uh, whatever it is that is needed for each group, uh, once we reach out or we're reached out to, we hope to fill that gap up. So if there's anything you guys, anything else uh, going on that you guys know about, uh, please let us know. Uh, I'm going to pass the mic and my, uh, my queen is going to give y'all more information as well uh, on what we do as well as how to contact us. I'm going to throw y'all under the bus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi there. First of all, I want to thank all of you guys for coming out here. You know, we really appreciate all of our allies and all of the members of our community that are willing to take their Sunday and donate to a cause like this. So how Juice got together was really because we saw that there was a need for different groups to come together and unify. And that's really our main goal, is to really help everybody get together so we can have the strongest voice. And we're gonna have the strongest voice if we really can all unify this way. So we look to partner with other organizations that are in the fight for social justice. And we also wanna help direct people to where they can go to best really help for political change. So we wanna be out here marching, but we also wanna be out there voting. And we also want to be out there voting, not just with our ballots, but with our dollars. So really being aware of what businesses support our causes and what businesses are against it as well. Yeah, clap that one up. All right, so I'm a, I, I got to I gotta break stuff down because y'all got to I, I gotta make sure y'all understand what the fight is out here for. We're marching, and that is good, but that's only 1% of what we need to do. We have to be informed on how the system itself is messing us up. If we just know that it's a problem but don't know where the problem lies, we're not fixing the problem. We're just being mad at it. So we're here to take the next step to be beyond just mad. 
be informed so we can know who we need to go ahead and have a sit down with or who we need to turn our backs on when it comes to spending our dollars with their company if they're not understanding what is blatantly seen in our country. Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, we got a lot of passion in our group for sure. I am going to introduce Tia, who is just an amazing volunteer, uh, past committee for uh, Black Student Union at uh, Davis High, and she's now in college at Sac State, and she has some poetry that she would like to recite. So please introduce yourself and go ahead. Hi, I'm Tia Nane. Um, and I wrote this poem called Enough Together. I haven't really read it out loud yet, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, okay. Enough Together. Struggling to find my own identity. Fighting to love myself. But then people are trying to take myself from myself. But they don't want you, they want your lips. They want your hair, they want your skin, but never you. They don't want you. They want those tunes you created, and they never gave credit. They want that move you made, and they never gave credit. They want that cotton you just picked, but they never gave credit. They shame you on all the bad, yet you made everything they ever had. Then that one thing that you thought was just yours, they took and ran over it like it was just another word in a chorus. You started a movement, and they say, but all lives matter. Of course, but are the ones close to you dying? slain by a system that's targeted them from the very beginning of time? Sometimes, it's as though people don't want to learn, but enough is enough. The government has been more than rough. People have been robbed of their lives, of their belongings. Everyone can sing, everyone must sing, in order to get over this pain that rings so deeply in our hearts, the one song that tears us all apart. Come with, come swing. I heard once that a wise man had a dream, that all people would celebrate and sing, and that when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men and Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, we will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Um, I, I live out in Sacramento. I'm visiting out here from Sacramento. So hi, Davis. How you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> so the first one I'm going to talk about um, is gentrification uh, before I kind of step into uh, a piece about womanhood. But I wanted to talk about gentrification and how in a lot of areas we are being pushed out as black people, as communities of color. We are being pushed out, and I wanted to speak to that. So. Um, it's funny how the streets start looking different when you creep up on your old block. They put up all these new stores, that F your mom and pop shops. My folks, they still reside, and so I still rep where I come from. But the only thing familiar is the road is made of asphalt and the sky is still blue. And money still runs all the big talks. And all my brothers still are passing at all the old spots. Just now that I gotta pay a little fee so they be outside. Couldn't afford it then, and now it's triple rent, it's too high. The old pole with the broke bowl, where we used to roast and freestyle. They went and put up new aesthetics, they wasn't feeling the broke aesthetics. Oh, you try. This ground is mine, I paid the price, the blood is dry, cool down, you're getting too loud, go some more, down now, you want me more, finding a simple, don't go too far, don't cross the line, don't make this art, what more you want, cool down, you're getting too loud, come some, some more, down now, you want me more, finding a simple. It's only a matter of time. How long do you think you can get away with hiding your hand before the illusion reveals that it was just a curtain? A lot of propaganda with a little sugar mixed in. At first we ate it up, but now most is regurgitating. We couldn't settle, almost felt it. Rumbling in the pit of my stomach. I'm no dummy, I just know that you were scamming us. From NJ where I was born and all the places after that. ATL and Sacramento villages in Africa. You telling me that all around the world there ain't no land for us. You just have to hold on to our stuff to keep it valuable. Maybe one day I can save in hopes of buying back from you and until then just be content with all the little scraps you give no when i hold everything you ration 15 cents a day the jig is up the velvet drop so you can stop the masquerade say you with your chest your big man you want to dominate oh you try this ground is mine 
I paid the price, the blood is dry, cool down, you're getting too loud, customer, down now, you want me more, finding a simple, don't go too far, don't cross the line, don't make this eye, what more you want, cool down, you're getting too loud, customer, down now, you want me more, finding a simple. As black women, specifically as black women, we are told not to be confident. We are told to soften our tone. We are told to not take up space. We are told to be quiet. We are told to be demure. Well, I'm the type of black woman that says, F all of that. I'm cocky as hell. Confident as hell. I might be a little arrogant, who knows? <laughs> so this piece speaks to that. So, like Maya Angelou said, phenomenal woman, that's me. They asked me if I had a chance, if I would take it back. I told them not, the cross I had to bear was in no accident. I think of nights where all I had were hopes of coming out the hood. Used to feel like paradise on earth couldn't come fast enough. I'm on a different level and it's raising. The final cut is what they see, they think that I done made it. They don't know how I got here, I'm coming from the basement and it's crazy. When I think of all the sacrifices that I had to make, I had to grab the do stay off the fridge so I could pull up. Celebrating all the wins that I keep getting more of. Looking back at all the folks who didn't, didn't show up to show love. Doesn't matter, I still did the only thing I know of and that's me. Synonymous with winning, it's the same damn thing, I'm on my championship. I'm taking titles for a living. Soon as I step in the room, the referee declares a finish. Everywhere I go, you hear the victory bills get to ring in. Every time I take a step, I end up leading all these. They be mad, they be surprised, they ain't believe me when I said that I'm the one and ain't nobody ever reaching on my level. Look around, you must be blind if you don't see that I'm a winner. I'm a woman, black woman, if I mean to be specific. Everybody come around, lend your ear, please, and listen. Like Maya Angelou said, phenomenal woman, that's me. My name is Grio. It was nice to meet you guys. So at this time, we're going to spend 5.5 minutes, five and a half minutes, kneeling down, find somewhere shaded, in total silence. If somebody can help us if your kids are back there screaming, and they may be mine, um, please help us keep this quiet uh, moment of silence. This time we chose 5.5 because August 6th was the 55th anniversary for the Voters' Rights Act, which actually finally allowed black women to vote. 50 years after women, white women are allowed to vote. So we're still fighting for voting rights today. And we wanna make sure we all have those conversations with our kids about what it means that black women weren't even allowed to vote when women are allowed to vote. 50, we're talking about 50 years. We're talking about so many issues of police violence in Davis that are affecting families like mine, all kinds of families that you would take for granted if you haven't had those things happen to you. If you've never been stopped by the police and asked if you have drugs and anything else in your minivan like I have, then you can really take that for granted. But those freedoms need to be extended to the whole community. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being part of the solution. We're going to start 5.5 minutes of silence in honor of all the black victims that were victims of police brutality, the women. This is for our mothers, for our daughters, for our sisters. Another group that I want to thank is the Solidarity Space and Solidarity Summer Camp. Um, they organized, Kate Mellon and her team organized all the arts that we saw on the overpass. And we want to make sure this art continues to be shown in downtown Davis. So please let us know if you have an empty floor space and we want these conversations to keep happening. Like we said at the last march, this is not the time for us to educate your children about Black Lives Matter. It's the time for us to come together in solidarity and then go home and have conversations. What it means about black women being allowed to finally vote. How are black women being suppressed to vote in these elections? How we can bring up black women in our local elections? My daughter, who is eight years old, just told me that she wants to take over from our wonderful mayor, our first Latino mayor of color, Gloria Cortina. But she's eight years old. But she also said to me, I sure hope somebody else comes before me because I can't imagine waiting 20 years until a black woman can be mayor in Davis. So absolutely. All right, so we will start five point five minutes of silence. If we missed anything else, please let me know during this time. And Jeannie, you have a time clock? She'll let us know. Okay, starting in... Someone lost their phone. Over, they left it at the volunteer table. Got some pineapple, the volunteer table. 
Okay. And we also, like I said, please do not leave until you scan any of your QR codes that are on these tents. We have snacks that need to go, t-shirts that need to go home with you. So any donation whatsoever to Wild will be beneficial for us if you could take some t-shirts. Okay, starting now. Go and vote. Go and sign the Yolo Power petition. Go and take some t-shirts and be creative about how you distribute them. And thank you all for coming. Please, please keep us in the loop. Wild Events Davis. We're going to try and engage our community more and more in different ways. And thank you for practicing safety. Thank you for wearing masks. And thank you all. Thank you, everybody. As I'm mad that I made this decision. <laughs>